So in the control room, we have a schematic of the boiler control system. If we use that indication on the fire eye, M8 limit open, we could use this schematic to narrow down the possible components that are causing the problem. So we need to trace out on this diagram the M8 loop. And we see here the M8 loop. M to eight. We see there are only three components in this loop. Purge air flow switch, boiler outlet damper proving switch, and louver motor purge proving switch. This switch is the inlet damper for the fan, sometimes called a high fire switch. So in the M8 loop there are only three components. The fire eye is telling us that one of those, or more than one, could be more than one, but at least one of those components is preventing the boiler from going into purge. All three of these need to be in a proper position for a purge to occur. The outlet damper needs to be open. We have to have enough purge air for the purge, and the inlet damper needs to be open. So if we go out to the boiler, all we need to do is look at these three components to figure out why we're not going into purge. We don't have to worry about anything else on the boiler. It is one of these three components. One of the three components was the outlet stack damper. This switch. situation we found that the, uh, the inlet damper or what's called louver motor purge proving switch on a diagram didn't open initially and was preventing the uh, boiler from going in the purge. I probably, well I found a problem 
it was in manual. The switch itself was in manual. When I had done maintenance, I left it in manual. I forgot to put it in auto. So with the uh, that louver not opening, the boiler would not go into purge. FireRight told us it had a problem. M8 limit open. We came in here, looked at the schematic, traced out the M8 loop, M8 loop to narrow it down to three components. Then we looked at the components on the boiler and were able to physically see that it was a switch not made. If we had looked at the uh, components and saw two of the switches made, the only other one is the purge air switch, and we can't see that. So then I would have to you know, look at that component on its own, do some troubleshooting of the purge air switch. But in this instance, it's just visibly, you could see the switch wasn't made, which was pretty easy. But you use what the fire eye is telling you, and this diagram, and you can narrow down where you need to look to figure out what's going on with the boiler.